Hi there, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best Raspberry Pi alternatives currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite five, so no matter what you're looking for, there will definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm gonna skip the fluff and just jump right in. If you wanna confirm my recommendations, go in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna to go to my recommendation for the best budget option, and this is the Libra Computer Board AML S905XCC, AKA La Potato. So in the tech jungle, hunting for a Raspberry Pi 4 alternative that doesn't pillage your wallet yet performs like a champ, cast your eyes on the Libra computer board AML S905XCC, affectionately dubbed La Potato. It's like finding a unicorn in a field of horses. Not only does it boast an affordable price tag, but it also flexes a quad-core ARM 64-bit processor that doesn't skip a beat. Some of the key features of it, processing power at its heart the potato throbs with the strength of four times cortex a53 corez clocking in at a sprightly 1.5 gigahertz it's like having a team of thoroughbreds under the hood ready to gallop at your command graphic prowess as well for those who crave visual feasts the onboard arm mali 450 gpu is a maestro of 4k ultra hd content ensuring your viewing experience is as smooth as a well-aged scotch it can juggle 4K content at 60 frames per second with the grace of a circus performer, all while sporting a dedicated HDR display engine for HEVC and VP9 hardware decoding, so like having your own personal IMAX theater. Connectivity suite with a 40 pin header, that's a Swiss army knife for tech enthusiasts. It supports SPI, I2C, PWM, UART, and more, making it as versatile as a chameleon in a box of Skittles. Software versatility, well, Fancy a bit of Raspbian or Ubuntu? The potato doesn't discriminate, allowing you to run either with the ease of spreading butter on toast. And memory specs. Equipped with two gigabyte DDR3 RAM, it reminds us that sometimes less is more. In a world where everything is supersized, the potato proves that efficiency and performance can come in modest packages. So who's it for? Well, perfect for the digital explorer who demands performance without having to sell a kidney on the black market. Whether you're a budding developer, a hobbyist looking to dive into the world of SBCs or someone who just wants to binge watch in glorious 4K without breaking the bank, this board is your ticket to the show. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for high performance projects and this is the Orange PI5. So this is like stumbling upon a secret superpower formula that's been hidden away for centuries only this one doesn't come in a bottle, it comes on a circuit board packed with a punch that could knock your socks off. This board is for those who crave a bit more muscle in their tech projects. The key features, processor powerhouse, the Orange PI5 muscles through tasks with an ARM based rock chip, RK3588S processor, sporting eight cores that flex up to 2.4 gigahertz. So it's like having an eight cylinder engine in a world of scooters, leaving the Raspberry PI4 and its 1.5 gigahertz in the dust. RAM galore with 16 gigabyte of LPDDR, for RAM, this board doesn't just open apps, it rolls out the red carpet for them. It's akin to having a mansion with endless rooms for your data and applications to lounge in. Graphic genius as well, the Mali G610 GPU on this board isn't just good, it's a virtuoso decoding 8K videos as if it's flipping through a picture book. The visual experience is so immersive you might just forget you're not actually there. And an NPU unit, with an NPU unit boasting six tops, it's like having a mini Einstein to process your AI tasks, making complex computations easy as pie. Connectivity and ports, a smorgasbord of connectivity options awaits, including gigabit ethernet, with the option to add Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, plus a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, onboard mic, and a plethora of ports, including HDMI, Type-C and USB 3.0. So who's this for? Well, it's a Titan, best suited for the tech titans among us. If your appetite for power and performance makes the Raspberry Pi 4 look like a light snack, then prepare for a feast. Whether you're an AI enthusiast, a professional developer, or a hobbyist with a penchant for ultra high definition content, this board will not only meet your expectations, but exceed them. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for storage and audio. This is the Asus Tinkerboard SR 2.0. So ready to outshine the Raspberry Pi 4 with its blend of power and stability, it's like the tech equivalent of upgrading from a sturdy bicycle to a sleek sports car, offering more under the hood for those who crave a bit of extra room in their projects. The key features, processor 
excellent, sporting the Rockchip RK3288 SOC with a clock speed that can reach a nifty 1.8 gigahertz. So this board is like a sprinter who's just had an espresso shot. Memory and storage with two gig of DDR3 RAM. It's got the memory chops to handle multitasking without breaking a sweat. Plus the 16 gigabyte eMMC storage. It's like having a spacious walk-in closet, something the Raspberry Pi 4 can only dream of. The graphic capabilities, equipped with the Mali T764 GPU, it boasts superior rendering capabilities, making it ideal for those who need their graphics as smooth as a jazz solo. And connectivity and ports, very versatile, featuring gigabit ethernet, USB 2.0, HDMI, and a plethora of GPIO ports for all your tinkering needs. The sound and wireless, also not to be outdone, it supports 192 over 24 bit HD audio playback through the audio jack, ensuring your auditory experience is as rich as a triple chocolate cake. So who is this for? Well, for the tech enthusiasts who are looking for an SBC that packs a punch and don't mind paying a bit extra for premium features. It's like finding a rare gem in a sea of stones. So whether you're a developer keen on pushing the boundaries of what's possible, a hobbyist looking to upscale your projects, or simply someone who appreciates high definition audio and seamless graphics, this board promises to be a robust and versatile companion. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best power efficient option. This is the Odroid M2 Plus. So the heavyweight contender in the single board computer arena that throws a playful jab at the Raspberry Pi 4, challenging it on both specs and price. It's like encountering a gourmet meal at a fast food price, blending performance with affordability in a way that tech enthusiasts can hardly resist. Some of the key features. Processor powerhouse, at the core of the N2 Plus lies a robust quad-core ARM Cortex-A73 CPU flanked by a dual-core Cortex-A53 cluster clocking in at a brisk 1.8 gigahertz. It's like having a secret turbo button offering more oomph than the Raspberry Pi-4's A72 CPU at only 1.5 gigahertz. The N2 Plus flexes its muscles with a 12nm fabrication process making it not, not just brawnier but also more of a marathon runner in power efficiency. RAM ready with 4 gig of DDR4 memory on board. It's prepared for multitasking mayhem. Graphic grit as well. The Mali G52 GPU is your ticket to 4K content. Streaming at 60 frames per second offering a visual feast. That's as satisfying as finding an extra fry at the bottom of a bag. Cooling capabilities as well. Sporting a metal heat sink. The N2 Plus keeps it cool better than a spy in a car chase. And connectivity cornucopia. With a gigabit LAN port, headphone jack, HDMI port, and four USB 3.0 ports, this is like a digital Swiss army knife. So who's it for? Well, it's for the tech aficionados looking for a board that packs a punch without punching a hole in their wallets. It's a prime pick. It's suited for power users, developers, and multimedia enthusiasts who demand high performance, efficient power usage, and the ability to multitask without breaking a sweat. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best for AI projects. This is the Banana PI BPIM6. So this is like the new kid on the block who's not only keen to make friends, but also outshine the veterans with its power specs and performance. Key features, processor prowess. At the heart of this technological titan lies the Senery Synaptics Video Smart VS680 processor, boasting a quad core ARM Cortex A73 and single Cortex M3 core with a clock speed that sprints up to 2.1 gigahertz. Graphics Gladiator, armed with a new imagination, GE9920 GPU, the BPI M6 delivers smooth graphics, rendering that plays ball right alongside the Raspberry Pi 4. Memory and storage with 4GB of LP DDR4 RAM and 16GB of onboard storage, expandable up to 256 via microSD. AI Acumen as well, featuring an NPU for AI operations capable of reaching up to 6.75 tops. The BPI M6 introduces a touch of genius to the SBC world and connectivity clout. Equipped with one micro HDMI in and one out port, a gigabit ethernet port and four USB 3.0 ports, it's as well connected as a diplomat at the international summit. So who's it for? Well, for the pioneers, the innovators, and the dreamers looking for a board that not only matches, but potentially outpaces the Raspberry Pi, the Banana Pi stands tall. It's perfect for developers, tinkerers, and anyone with a penchant for pushing the boundaries of what single board computers can do, especially in the realm of AI and high-speed processing. All right, so those are my recommendations there. Hopefully there's something on that list for you. If you do have any questions though, you can drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.